Andy Mogul. Cars 2 is driving into theaters this summer, and as we get ready to roll once again with Lightning McQueen and Mater, let's take a look at the brand new cars that will be joining them on their road trip around the world. How'd you like to come and see the world with me? You mean it? <laughs> now, while in the first film, Lightning McQueen was introduced to the world of Radiator Springs, in Cars 2, he and Mater will set tire in the world of international espionage. How does such a thing happen? Well, it all starts with this car, Rod Torque Redline. This Detroit muscle car is an American spy voiced by none other than Bruce Campbell. Turns out Torque has important information about a plot to sabotage the World Grand Prix. But when the bad guys back him into a corner, he has no choice but to dump the intel with the first car he sees, Mater. That means that this car, Finn McMissile, mistakes Mater for the undercover American spy he's supposed to meet. Now, McMissile isn't just any car, but one straight out of Q's workshop. And who else would you expect to voice a car worthy of Bond, James Bond, other than Sir Michael Caine? Assisting McMissile on her very first mission is desk agent turned field operative Holly Shiftwell, voiced by Emily Mortimer. Shiftwell is the kind of state of the art car that turns headlights, or perhaps tow trucks? Now, a spy is only as good as his contacts, and McMissile has plenty. First, there's Toomer, a Parisian three-wheeler who deals in under-the-hood car parts. And for air support, McMissile can always depend on Sidley, a twin-engine spy jet voiced by Jason Isaacs. Able to reach record-breaking Mach 1 speeds, Sidley helps McMissile and company fight crime the world over. These Americans are clearly master spies. Oh, you've got to be joking. But who are they fighting? Yes, every good spy caper needs a villain. And Cars 2 has one in Professor Z, voiced by popular German actor Thomas Kretschmann. But don't let this compact car fool you, as Professor Z is a master weapons designer who is indeed planning to sabotage the World Grand Prix. Helping him out are his two henchmen, a pair of lemons. Grem, voiced by Joe Mantegna, is an AMC Gremlin, while Acer, voiced by Peter Jacobson, is an AMC Pacer. These two rusty cars will stop at nothing, I repeat nothing, to stop Mater from delivering Torque's information about their evil plans to sabotage the World Grand Prix. The World Grand Prix. Three races, two continents, but only one winner. Ka-chow! Yes, the fate of the World Grand Prix is at stake, but what exactly is it? Well, it's a three-country race started by Sir Miles Axelrod. Voiced by Eddie Izzard, Axelrod is an oil baron who has used his wealth to turn himself into an electric car. In fact, Axelrod is determined to find the next great energy source to replace oil, and he's using the World Grand Prix to show off his new wonder fuel, Alanol. So which top athletes will be chugging Alanol as they race against Lightning McQueen? Well, one of the top competitors is Francesco Bernoulli, voiced by John Turturro. Bernoulli is the most famous race car in all of Europe and is the favorite to win the World Grand Prix. Filling in the rest of the pack is England's Nigel Gearsley, an Aston Martin DB9R, Brazil's Carla Veloso, the only female in the race, Japan's Shu Todoroki, who's coached by a Mazda, France's Raoul Carul, who's picked up some sweet moves from his time in Cirque du Voiture, and finally Rip Clutch Gineski from the newly independent Republic of New Rerendia, who is proud to be racing for his people. Lightning McQueen cannot win the race. Instead of saying ka-chow, he's gonna go kaboom! So, which cars are you rooting for in the World Grand Prix? And in the world of Pixar's cars, what do you think your car would do for a living? Write your thoughts down below, and be sure to check back this summer for more Cars 2 coverage right here on Beyond the Trailer. Oh, boy.